Local networks create communities. They're the foundation of the soil. And they give rise to these microbiomes, these complex ecosystems that have become increasingly more biodiverse. And as they're more biodiverse, they're more able to withstand catastrophic impacts against the ecosystems. Now we've proliferated approximately to about 8.5 million species on this planet, but we're losing more than 30,000, we may even more, 30,000 species per year. You can do the math, in 100 years, we're losing more than a third of the biodiversity of species that got us here today. So an analogy I like to make is like losing rivets out of an airplane. How many rivets out of the airplane will you lose before you have a catastrophic collapse? We are seeing that now. We have entered into 6X. And it's the collision now of human impacts, deforestation, industrialization, factory farming, pollution, all these Anthropogenic, uh, anthropogenic chemicals that we're releasing heretofore untested within nature that are stressing the immune system of nature. And these mycelial networks are the foundation of the food web. They're the immune system of our ecosystem. And so what we're seeing now is that these collision of, of human activities coming up against shrinking natural ecosystems, the immune systems of those resident ecosystems are becoming stressed. So zoonotic diseases are spreading. A lesson of nature, and many biologists have talked about this, when an organism exceeds the carrying capacity of its ecosystem, diseases spread against that organism. And so the jumping of the COVID-19 virus <clears throat> to from animals to, to humans is just a story that's gonna repeat itself over and over and over again. This is the beginning of a series of viral storms, viral pandemics. I've been talking about this for decades. Many other scientists have, many of us have wondered why hasn't this happened sooner? But now with factory farms, with the loss of biodiversity, with the immunological stresses that we're all experiencing, you know, it's a wake up call. So, we have opportunities to reinvest in the soil health, in the soil architecture by reforestation, by feeding the mycelial networks, the food, basically many of these mycelial species depend upon decomposition of wood. When you go into monoculture and you destroy plant biodiversity, then there's not as many resources for these fungal networks to proliferate to give rise to further biodiversity. So we're basically the war against nature is the war against our own biology. We are destroying ourselves in a slow suicidal act. And if we don't get our act together, you know, we're not only the cause of this extinction event, we're going to be the, its victim.